How's it going everybody? I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I found something interesting that I think you shape Poco 5 Pro users may want to know. I've been dealing with some accuracy issues and I've had trouble like pegging it down uh, and trying to, you know, I'm making a project and it's rather small and accuracy has been an issue. So I started troubleshooting and basically what I found is that in my X axis, there was about a 16th of an inch of play. Uh, and I'll throw in the videos here. Sorry for the orientation. I was gonna just make it into a short, but there's just too much information to cover. So I figured in a, you know, in a minute. Um, so what I ended up doing was I went to all my steppers, um, check for tightness of the hardware on all my steppers, all the uh, lock screws, set screws that are on your steppers. Uh, found nothing there. I went X, Y, Z all the way around, found nothing. Uh, so just to confirm that I was getting those accuracy issues and where they were at, uh, I cut some circles and squares and did some measure, measuring, and it was definitely in the X axis. You can see in the circle that I'm popping up on the screen now that uh, there's a little uh, jaunt on the right side uh, where the X axis is moving left and right. So then I started just banging around on the machine, shaking it left and right, and I found uh, in my x-axis, you know, left and right, that there was about a 16th inch play uh, in the machine. Um, so I went to the uh, ball screw, that the ball screw, the, I don't know, the bearing that rides on the ball screw, I made sure it was all tight, I was still having that issue, so I took my x uh, my Z axis off of my X axis mount. And this is what I found. Uh, and I'll pop up the video here in just a second. These four screws here are the only thing that hold the uh, Z axis to the bearing that rides on the ball screw. Um, and they were loose and all my play was coming from the, the movement where these four screws had backed off a little bit. Uh, now, I will give credit, I pulled all these out and uh, to add Loctite, uh, this is Loctite 242 blue thread locker to add to it. Now we'll give credit to Shapoko. There was lo red Loctite on these screws uh, and they were difficult to back out. However, the play still existed, so it either didn't get torqued properly um, or somehow red, lo red Loctite backed out. Now, I've heard these complaints before in other forums, um, and then, so loose hardware has been a, a plague on Shepoko. So I went ahead and uh, all these X uh, linear bearings, uh, I went ahead and checked the tightness on all these back here and I got at least an eighth of a turn on all these, some of them a quarter and some of them, uh, probably four of them, I got a whole half a turn before uh, I even started you know, filling the bearing surface and tightening. So just a reminder to all you guys, when you're doing your preventive maintenance, you know, every three to six months or so, uh, check for hardware tightness on all these, um, all these screws. All right guys, here's the test here. Before tightening, you can see this little bump here. And you can also see uh, some flatness in the edges uh, of this one. So this one was cut as a pocket and this one was just cut as an outside profile. Um, but there's the jaunt. And there's a little bit of one over here where it starts changing directions. And then this is after completing, after tightening up those bolts, perfect circles. So that's what I found. Um, hopefully this video helps. It kind of sucks. I wasted probably two man hours just troubleshooting and fixing the machine. Uh, I don't think this is, I, I mean, I think any machine, whether it be Shapoko or uh, commercial machines are gonna deal with the same types of stuff, loose hardware. There's a lot of vibration in these machines and um, yeah, I think it could happen to any machine. It's just a reminder to stay on top of your maintenance and uh, make sure your shit's straight. So, um, just a quick video. 
and so I can continue on making the project for the big video that I'm working on. Uh, so hang in there for the next one.